Hello, photographers. Todd Lewis here with part five of this five video series on photo profit generating secrets for you and your photography business. Very excited about what we're covering today. It springboards very nicely off the four previous videos that we've done. If you haven't watched those, make sure you go back, watch those first. These are meant to be viewed in order, but they're right up there on the YouTube channel. And we're going to jump right in here today. A quick review from the last video. We covered the redirection question. We talked, we covered five really important questions. The redirection question, the magic question, the qualifying question, the golden question, and the time question. All such important questions that you should be asking every client on the telephone to help you reach that booking percentage rate of between 70 and 75% of the calls you get being turned into booked sessions. Ah, go back and watch that video again. Even if you watched it already, go back and ask yourself on the phone calls that you've been doing recently, have you been using any of those questions? You should be using almost every single one of those on almost every call that you take. But now we got to deal with those pesky stalls, right? The stalls. What is a stall? First of all, a stall is is basically the prospect trying to give you a reason why they shouldn't make the decision today. That's what it is. It's a reason to say, ah, I'm just going to think about it and I mean, maybe I'll call you back. Okay. It's a stall and we get a whole bunch of them and we get a lot of the same ones over and over again. Right? So we're going to talk about how you deal with those because how you deal with those stalls, those objections, you know, stuff like that makes all the difference whether you book people or not. Because if you just say, oh yeah, no problem. Okay. Well, call me. I hope to hear from you. Bye-bye. Nine times out of 10, probably 95 out of a hundred, they don't call you back. All right, so let's dive right in. All right, so say what? What do you say when you get some of these stalls? Well, for example, what do you say when we get this really common one? I'll have to check with my husband or spouse and call you back, right? They called you on the phone, they're inquiring about what you do, and then they give you this great one. Well, you know, this is great, but I'm gonna have to call my husband. I'm gonna have to check with my husband, I'll call you back. What do you say to that? Now, what would you say? And you might be thinking, well, I don't know what I would say. I guess I would say, okay, well, I, I look forward to hearing back from you. Thank you. Gone, gone. No, instead, here's what you say. Oh, I totally understand where you're coming from. And if you don't mind me asking, what do you feel he'll say when you, when you talk to him about this? Now I'm paraphrasing it maybe a little bit, okay? But that's the basis of it. If you, if you don't mind me asking, what do you feel he'll say when you ask him about this? Because now what, look at what the power of what you've done. You've given her permission to use the spouse as the bad guy, right? And to say the things that maybe she might be even feeling. She might say, well, I think what he's going to say is it's too expensive. Because that might be something that she's feeling. But she doesn't want to say that to your face or to you on the phone, right? She doesn't want to say that. But now she can say that that's what she thinks her husband will say. And now you can delve into that. Because now if you know what the objection is, you can deal with it right then and there, right? So that's how you respond when they say, I'll have to check with my husband or spouse and call you back. All right, now how would you respond if they said, I'm just shopping around right now. I'll call you back if I'm interested. Another great one. That's a, that's a, that's a, yeah, no, I'm just going to go away. All right, but it doesn't mean they're not interested. It just means you have not convinced them yet of why they should, they should, uh, um, transfer their big pile of cash for your photographs. They, you haven't convinced them of why that's a decision that they should make right now. Okay, we got to get them to that. So here's how you respond. I understand. And if you don't mind me asking, what exactly is it that you're looking for? Maybe I can help. Okay, because they said, I'm just shopping around. I'll call you back. And oh, no wonder. No, no worries. If you don't mind me asking, what exactly are you looking for? Because I might be able to help. Even if I don't end up being the photographer for you, I want to make sure that you get the portraits you're looking for. Great. Again, it shows how much you care. Wonderful response there. Okay, the next one. I need to think about this. I'm not in any real hurry. I'll call you back later. <laughs> it's another great one. So hard. You know, when you think about it, it's like, how would I respond to that? I mean, I can't argue with that, can I? And it's not about arguing. You're not arguing with them. This isn't a battle. Okay, remember in one of the earlier videos, and actually a couple of them, what did we say marketing and selling is? It's finding out what people want and helping them to get it. You're on their side. This isn't a battle. It's not a war. You're both looking for the same thing, making sure they get what they want. So here's how you respond. I need to think about this. I'm not in any hurry. I'll call you back later. You say, I understand exactly how you feel. If you don't mind me asking, I'm sure there's an excellent reason why you're hesitating. Do you mind if I ask what that is? Now, tone of voice is really important here. If you say it the wrong way, I'm sure there's an excellent reason why you're hesitating. Gone. You'll never work with them. They're, it's done. You can't repair that. 
You really can't. But if you genuinely, you know, I, I'm sure there's an excellent reason why you're hesitating. Do you mind if I ask what that is? Well, I'm hesitating because I'm just, I'm just not sure, you know, I'm not sure I'm ready to pull the trigger on this. I'm not sure you're going to be the right photographer. I don't want to make a mistake. I don't know if we have the money, whatever it is. But again, you've got to get them talking about what it is, the true reasons why they're not ready to make this decision today. Now, how would you respond when they say that's a little more than I was planning on spending? I'll think about it and I'll call you back. That's a classic, right? I mean, if they're being honest, right, you are kind of expensive and you should be. And that's a good thing. All right. So how do you respond when they say that? Well, you respond, I completely understand. However, if you don't mind me asking you, how important are these photographs to you? Now, you might recognize that as one of the questions from our previous episode, our previous video in the series, right? How important are these photographs to you? Because again, we're getting to the heart of, we're getting them selling themselves on how it's not the price that matters the most. It's not to say that price is, is no object, right? That they can spare no expense, but it's to say that it's probably not the most important thing, is it? Because if it was, there are plenty of cheap photographers out there that'll give you something that you probably won't love. Okay, so important. How about I'm just shopping around, I'm going to call a few other photographers, maybe I'll call you back some other time. How do you respond to that one? Well, you just say, I understand how you feel completely. And if you don't mind, I'm curious. Have you ever had a photograph created that you didn't like? See, we're pulling some of those questions out. So obviously, if you use these questions already, then you'd have to come up with, a, ask one of the other questions because they are kind of interchangeable here. But you see what you're doing is you're getting them off of, you're, you're getting them realizing that what they're doing now is in danger of having them never have a photograph created. That they'll procrastinate. You know how things go. Time goes by. We get busy. We forget about them. Before you know it, five or 10 years have gone by and you're looking back going, I wish I had had these photographs created when I had the chance. That's the way you should be talking to your clients. Or another way you can respond is one of the things that separates us from all the other photographers in the area is our guarantee. So you don't have to worry. Don't worry if you're worried about, oh, it, what if I'm not happy? What if these aren't as great as you say they're going to be? What? Don't worry about that. If you are not thrilled, if you're not thrilled, okay, not just satisfied, but thrilled, we will do whatever it takes to make sure that you are thrilled or we will give you your money back. No problem. We want these photographs to be perfect for you. Okay. Mention your guarantee. Don't hide your guarantee. Have a guarantee and trumpet it from the rooftops. That's why you have a guarantee. Always drives me crazy when photographers have a guarantee and then they hide it. All right, coming up and guess what? You get a bonus. I had told you this was going to be only five, but as I started putting these videos together, as I was, I realized there are a bunch of other stalls, a bunch of other objections that we get that I couldn't cover in this video. So I'm going to do a bonus sixth video that's going to be revealed tomorrow for you. A bonus sixth video, part six of this five video series five more of the most common stalls and how to respond to them to turn them into book sessions. If you haven't done so already, be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell. Subscribe. Boom. That'll get you subscribed. Make sure you hit the bell. That'll notify you when the new video comes live. One more left in the series. Remember, comment on these videos. Let me know if you're finding these helpful. If you're liking them, if you don't like them, give me a thumbs down on the video. That's okay. Let me know in the comments what I could do to make them better. If I'm talking too fast, maybe I have too much energy. I don't know, but I'm really passionate about the stuff that we're teaching you here. So let me know in the comments, was this helpful for you? Was it not? What can we do? What can I do to make them even better for you if I were to do another series? And that's going to be totally up to how many people really feel that this was helpful for them. All right. Talk to you on the sixth bonus video of this series coming up tomorrow. Take care. Have a great day.